Hello guys, welcome back to another Android MySQL database tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to retrieve information from MySQL database. So here we have to perform the login operation. So in this case, we have to send the username and password to the server and we have to make some validation on server and the server will send back the response to the Android application. So here is the login form. Go to the XML version. This form contains two edit text. First one represents the username. The ID of the edit text is username. And this the second edit text represents password. ID is user pass. And there is a login button. The on click method is user login. So go to the main activity.java. Here I already defined that method user login. So now we have to declare the need variables. We need two edit text. First one is et name and second one is et pass. And we need some string variables login name and login pass. We have to initialize the edit text. First one is et name type cast this one in the edit, edit text find it r dot id dot username now initialize the second variable that is the user pass and the id is uh, user pass so whenever user click the login button this method will invoke and first we have to get the information from user first one is a login name so et name dot get to text dot to string now get the password login pass equal to et pass dot get to text dot to string now we have to define another string variable name it as method and provide a value login now we have to start the async task here our async task class name is background task so start that create an object of that class new background task there is a constructor inside that class that has a context object so, so pass this as context now we have to pass this information into the background task. We have to pass the method name, we have to pass the username and password. So background task dot execute. First one is method. Second one is login name. Third one is login pass. Now go to the background task dot java. Here we already done the registration coding here so there is an if loop now we have to handle the else part of that if loop so else if if method dot equals login in that case we have to perform the login so first get the user information string login name equal to params of first index second variable login pass params of second index so we have to pass the information into the server we have to pass username login name and login password to the server and we have to make some validation on the server using php script and we have to get the response from server so we have to create an object of url so here we need the login url here i already defined that url here it is login url http ip web app and login php login.php so first create an object of url equal to new url and the U and the variable name is login url specify that variable name login url 
and here we have to put some try catch now create the HTTP URL connection object URL dot open connection here we have to add some catch clause IO exception and typecast this one into HTTP URL connection now we have to set some parameter for the HTTP URL connection first we have to set the request method here the request method is passed now we have to pass some information into the server so we have to set HTTP URL connection dot set do output do output into true also we have to get a response from the server so HTTP URL connection dot set do input is also true so now we have to get the output stream from the HTTP URL connection so create an object of output stream output stream equal to HTTP URL connection dot get output stream now create an object of buffered writer buffered writer equal to new buffered writer new output stream writer pass the output stream object and specify the encoding format UTF-8 now we have to specify the data so here we use the post method so we have to encode the data so string data equal to URL encoder dot encode first one is login name identifier is login name and the encoding format UTF-8 now specify the value so URL encoder dot encode it is login name and specify the encoding format UTF-8 one more variable is there so put an AND operator now specify the second value the second value is login pass and the variable name is login pass now we have to write this data using buffer the writer so buffer the writer dot write data now flush the buffer the writer and close it also close the output stream now we have to get the response from the server for that we have to get the input stream from the HTTP URL connection so input stream input stream equal to HTTP URL connection dot get input stream also we need a buffered reader object buffered reader buffered reader equal to new buffered reader dot new input stream reader input stream and specify encoding format here use ISO 8859-1 encoding ok now we have to get the information from the buffered reader for that uh, create some string value string a response under available is needed string line ok now get the information while buffered reader dot 
read the information into this variable line equal to buffer the reader dot read the line is not equal to null in that case get the information from the buffer the reader in that case a response a response equal to attach the response okay in that case we add the data available on variable line into variable response and now we have to close the buffer the reader buffer the reader dot close also close the output in also close the input stream Also, we have to close the HTTP. We have to disconnect the HTTP URL connection. And finally, return the response. Return a response. So the response will get on the on post execute method. There is a toast is already available that will show the registration success. So we have to put some if loop there. if result dot equals this value this is in the case of registration in that case we have to display the toast but in the case of login we have to display some dialog so here I need an alert dialog so here create an object of alert dialog we can initialize that object on the on pre execute method so alert dialog equal to new alert dialog dot builder and pass the context object and create now set, set some title set title login information and finally we have to set the message on the alert dialog so we can set the message on the alert dialog on this method on post execute so alert dialog dot set message result and finally show the alert dialog so now we finished the coding in Android side now we have to make some changes on the script so go to the WAMP server go to the WAMP server directory go to the public directory of WAMP server here is our project folder web app and open the login.php open with notepad so here I already put some value here so instead of this value we have to get information from the Android application so post we use the post method and specify the identifier name here the identifier name is login name and login pass first one is login name and the second one is login pass here it is login pass and if the login is success that means there is a user is already exist uh, we have to print some we have to return some welcome message greeting message so echo login success welcome and print the username here the username is available on this variable name and print the value available on that variable name otherwise that means there is no user exist otherwise we have to display some message login failed try again 
the semicolon. Now we finish the coding. Now we can check the application. So before going to run this application, we have to check our database. So go to the local host, go to the PHP my admin, select our database. Our database is web app DB. Here is the table user info. Now the table contains no data. Now we have to register a new user and try to log in the user. Okay, now the application available on our virtual device. Now there is no user exist in our database. So first we have to create a new user. So create a new user. Name. Rishmi. Username. Rishmi123 and put a password Rishmi at 123 and click register. Now registration success. Check our database. So now here is the new user. Username, password and name. Now add one more user. Rupesh username rupesh123 password rupesh at123 and register now another user is successfully added I refresh the database here is the another user now try to log in a user first here I put some wrong information put some wrong information and try to login. This will show login fail and try again. This message is get from the server. Actually that message is available on our script. I will show you the script again. Go to the VAMP folder. Go to the public directory. Here is the project folder. Open login.php in notepad. Here is the error message. Login failed and try again. Okay, now put the correct information Rashmi123 and password. Password is Rashmi at 123. So put the correct information Rashmi at 123 and try to login. Now login success and welcome and here is the username Rashmi. I hope you understand the concepts. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.